Hey guys, Tom Cecilia Jr. here, aka Mosa's Chama. Welcome back to some more Galaxy Albion. Uh, keep getting messages of being tired. Well, let's start to take a look around this 3D environment. Or more, uh, set up like a first person game, which is interesting that it's split up in a few ways. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, jeez. Attack! Oh, okay. Wait, what just happened? Oh. heal me at all. How do I... Oh, I actually click on them. I see. Who should leave the party now? Reiner! Well, this isn't going great at all. Ugh! Death ends the journey. Everyone in the party is fatally wounded. They die soon afterwards. Oh no. Oh no. It might not be in the recording as I uh, had a little bit of a hiccup, but I did head outside and I did just die uh, based on the battle system. Uh, I'll leave that out of this cut only because I had no clue what I was doing. This time I do know what I was doing. Shut up, video game. Uh, so at least I'll be able to do something. Oh, it's daytime. Uh, when I was traveling just the just a moment ago, it was light or dark out. Yeah, it's daytime now. Interesting. Attack. So, I, I was looking at this grid and I was really confused, so uh, what you have to do is uh, go on your guy and press attack, obviously. Uh, we'll move him up. Oh, that's not good. That's what I'm talking about. Let's 
let's uh, be a little careful here. again. Well, uh, it happened again. Well, shit. Death ends an injury. Everyone in the party is fatally wounded. They die soon afterwards. And I will note, I will note that, um, that happens. Alright, we're back again. Uh, I'm not even gonna do the intro, I'm just gonna copy the previous two attempts with all the hiccups and stuff into this part. Uh, so it might be a little bit longer than an initial part. Uh, so I've died twice now. I finally saved it, so now I should be good. Off of the other thing I made a mistake doing. Uh, let's see if I can avoid that guy. I sure can. But what would be the point in all that? The Turk! Let's get you in there. Right, our group is very well separated. This is not great. We're taking damage. again. Alright! Now I should be able to load it and have a lot less issue. And now I'll be able to continue my recording. That's death number three. Uh, hmm. This is not gone great, guys. Admittedly, uh, this is pretty tough. Any like shop I can go to or something? What are you doing, sir? Okay, it's in here. find something more useful than notepads, please? Like a weapon or something? Door is open. It is latched. Everyone is tired. Uh... Man, this is, uh... Is there anything worthy in here at all? 
so hot out there. The sweets, whatever, it's not irrelevant. Or, sorry, not relevant. Was I in here before? Am I crazy? Or are the tile sets just too similar? I'm prob it's probably the latter of the two. Because I'm seeing some of these open doors and I'm just like, my mind is just going, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, can I rest while I... Uh... no? No rest for the wicked. There is... in here anything at all god damn it all right nothing useful out of him Consistently getting that message. Yeah, I think it is because the environment's just. The other building looks so similar to this one. It's just like, ugh. One of the many curses of having a limited tile set is, uh. Gotta add a lot of variety, otherwise, you're gonna get confused. Well, that was pointless. Wait, wait. Anything up here of use? You look like you have a weapon. Uh, what it do you want, please? I recently discovered my magical talents. Thank you. Thank the goddess, and ever since I have been here at Jaw. Okay. Farewell. That doesn't help me. Can you join the party? <laughs> Yoink. I feel like we could use a mage. for the map. Uh... Oh, there we go. Uh, it's not an entrance to a building. Not also an entrance to a building. Ugh, why do you move around so much? I have to tell my sister I've met you. She'll be so jealous. Okay. Admittedly... So I can't walk on there.
door's locked. Oh, jeez. Wait, did I not just wait? So waiting is not sleeping. Okay. That's terrible. Let's keep looking around, I guess. Fill in this map. Okay, nothing crazy over here. Save it real quick. Yes. Oh. Well, I'll just do it again. Whatever. Let's try skipping over the raptor this time. Can I access the map through here? I can rest there. Party rest for eight hours. Oh, I can't do that while a car. That's depressing. I guess we're traveling in the dark. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that raptor. Oh! Not today, sir. Nope. Oh god, no! <laughs> no! Fuck! God damn it. Okay. Oh! Yikes. damage. Well. Nothing is happening, guys. Well, that wasn't great at all. We died a fourth time. Or fifth. I'm losing count already. God damn it. Okay, let's actually try to avoid this raptor for realsies. See that bug? That doesn't look great. I wonder how big this world map is, too. Well, that looks frightening. Let's. Oh god. Everyone. 
Everyone's getting tired. I can tell you, uh... Well, this isn't looking great. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God! No, let's not do that. Seven? Oh, my Jesus Christ! What is this game? <laughs> How am I supposed to win? How am I supposed to get things going? Uh, well, well that's not great. My goodness gracious. I can't even get past the first raptor. How am I? I don't even know where I'm supposed to go yet. I thought those thing. I thought that little bug was going to be an easy kill or something comparatively, but no, I was far worse. Is that because I was further in the map? Head to the left a little bit here. Okay, that thing's dangerous. Everyone's getting tired. Floating water plants. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's our starting area. If I just go to the right. What? What attacked me? Seven damage. <gasps> Jesus Christ, this damage output is so crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this game? How am I... What? I don't understand, you guys. Oh, jeez. Get that 8 hour rest, baby. Maybe, just maybe, since I'm rested up, who knows. Five damage? Well, I did four, so that's good. That was a lot more than I was doing last time, that's for sure. Okay, now I have him attack too. supposed to do guys what am I supposed to do this is insanity how I can't even beat the first enemies what is this what 
What am I missing here? I'm sorry if I can't see my health fully, by the way. It's a little cut off by the end point of my uh, bandy cam recording there, but uh, things aren't looking great. Select my character, please. P please. Okay, it won't let me. sure what to do. We tried running, we tried fighting, we tried resting and then fighting. That still didn't work. Okay. We'll try running again, I guess. We'll go far left bottom left, I guess, because it's the only area I didn't explore to my fullest capabilities. But, uh, yeah, that was not great. Or this hasn't been a great, uh, run of things. Oh, you said something and I totally missed what it was. Leave me alone! Oh. oh no. Killer bugs on the loose. Oh. Exploring new territory, I guess. tired. Oh no! <gasps> oh fuck me. Huh? Well, there goes another one. Uh, hmm. Hmm. There's got to be an item shop or something here, right? Point has been marked. City gate. Oh, I just do that to move the map. Battle trainer. Oh. Well, that might actually be useful. <laughs> and where was that? Oops. Craziness, hold on. Uh, okay, so I went 
went the wrong way. Okay. To the left. Okay. Is this the right way? Paddle trainer slightly to the right. is set up to a very Spartan style, at least the visible part. Here we go. Now we're talking. Oh, hello. Tom speaks to the Isekai, Isekai, uh, Optiglulu of this people, sits with a stoic calm at the table. The scar covered Isekai says, uh, tech, tech eternally. Do you want to know how to fight? Uh, let's do close range, because that's what we were doing. Suddenly, the old warrior comes to life. He stands up at the lightning speed and once, and goes to the custom combat arena with Tom. The party does not have enough gold. The warrior says angrily, Don't waste my time. He leads the companions to the door. Oh, man. Really? You need a train with money. But can I open the door? Nope, the door is locked. Oh man, I want that sword. <laughs> this game got my hopes up for nothing? What is this? Why make that a point of interest? Uh, House of the South Wind Clan is another point of interest that it's giving me, so I guess I'll go there instead of heading outside and dying again. Try to actually make some level of progress here today. <laughs> A little bit further south. Is this it? Sure looks to be. Alright, let's take a look inside. Nope. The door has a lock. I don't have a key. Okay. to the house of the hunter clan and is secured with a lock. Okay, so all of my point of interest so far have been duds. Why would you do that to me? Video game. Everyone's getting tired. Ah, you are the guests of the Hunter Clan I've heard of so much about. Welcome to the Guild House of the Defage. What would you like to see from our Guild's craft? We see what we can, what we do here is a mixture of magic, art, and craft. We are one of the oldest guilds in Genera, and as you surely know, we are able to create, change, and permanently modify plants into a desired form, though through magic. This means we can produce complete houses out of living plant material, which are not only beautiful, but also perform at the, all the functions necessary for the well-being of our, its residents. Okay. Bye-bye. Do I get a map inside the building? I surely don't. Is there 
anything in here of use. Like a weapon or something. That looks like a potion. That looks useful potentially if I can pick it up. Yoink. leads back outside question mark the door is latched what about this one also latched well hmm well wow, this game is uh does not like to take it easy I see to the left, I guess. Pretty consistent warnings about how your people are tired. Which does get a little annoying. Since it doesn't seem to have any effect on the game so far, as far as I can tell, but it probably does. I mean, I'm assuming it just makes you miss more or something, I don't know. That's my guess so far. As to what that could possibly equate to as far as like a detriment to your party being tired. Well, that was lovely. The point has been marked. Reformers. Reformer Guild. Everybody's exhausted. Okay, so... That's actually starting to look bad now. Too much different going on here. What I think I'll do is I'll step outside, rest, and then head back into the city because um, I do want to explore, but um, I don't know if my team being exhausted, because that's a new state from what it just was. die from like exhaustion or something in this game too oh jeez getting all flipped turned upside down in this area does not help oh are you, are you, okay I am taking damage that is that is what is happening right now that is not good. No, don't. God damn it. map in the world.
So to my right. Whoo! Wait, am I heading the right way? Oh, jeez. This way. There we go. Do do do. All right. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, it's time. We should go to the festival the Sabana invited us to. Oh, well, well, this is happening now. Okay. Tom and Rainer enter the council, building right on time in the meeting room. Tom and Rainer find a small group of Iskai. The Sabana greets them. Tom and Rainer, welcome to our meeting. May I introduce you to a car? He is the head of the guild of formers of the Dijfath, as we say. Dursrima. And this is council member. The Sabana is interrupted suddenly when a masked figure storms into the room, shocked. Tom and Rina recognize that it is a human being. <laughs> Before anyone can react, the human shoots a small arrow. A cure collapses. Streak sees the human. A cure is dead. May he live with the goddess. The murderer has fled through a window. Sabana, we will search the city. We must act swiftly. Send the Drear, the Sturik for Human Affairs, honored council members, Brid. My nephew, please go now. I am sorry that the ceremony has been such a tragic outcome. Tom Marina, I must speak with you. Oh, jeez. Are we in trouble? Tom and Rainer, this is a difficult time. Some will assume that you had something to do with the murder of the simp- for the simple fact that they are that you are humans, I do not know your race well, but I believe you are just as shocked by all this that I am. Janice, no whatever to whoever no one ever told us that there were native humans on this planet. We we're just trying to get over the shock. You didn't know that? But I thought you must have misunderstood our first conversation. You would have gotten to known known to know your fellow humans on the island that we were going to take to going to take you to speak as if you offer can no longer be kept after what hap has happened so it is unfortunately i must inform you that uh, of our people's laws relevant to this type of crime in order to compensate for uh the often misdisciplined nature of many iskai there are is a law of family responsibility. Thus, to discourage transgressions, the entire family of a criminal is responsible for his behavior. What the fuck? The steward cannot immediately capture the evildoer. The family is obliged to find their rebellious member or solve the crime. Oh, okay. Of course. In this case, they are supposed uh, supported and monitored by at least one steward. Since you are the only humans in Jurinar, you take the place of the family. You are now obliged to solve the murder and find the guilty parties. Only then I can permit you to continue your journey. 
but we are still strangers on this, this world. How can we possibly find those guilty of the crime? I have already had a capable Shirik for it sent for. He'll help you with your task. Looks like we have no other choice, right? Unfortunately, no. I cannot overrule the laws. I can only wish you good luck in the hunt for the fugitive murderer and whoever gave him his orders. You're sure this was ordered by someone? Without a doubt, the murderer belongs to a human race who are famous for their assassinations. These people seldom kill for their own interest. You should talk with Frill. I've heard he's in the palace again. Surely he is one of the... He is on his way here. Ah, come here, Drow. The Sturrock who will accompany you. Will he become a permanent member of our party? Subanaginus. Have you been informed of Akira's murder? Yes, what a shock. Indeed, Drew. I'm sure you've heard of Tom and Rainer, our visitors. They're strangers here, and they need your help to solve this crime. I will stand beside them with everything I have. Sabina, Tom and Rainer, I am sorry that we have met under such circumstances. Drew, we have a little overcome by what has happened. I believe what you're saying. We should probably talk with Saba Giz Frill first. He can certainly tell us something about the murderer human tribe. Let's go to his room. I'm sure he knows all about this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Jill joins up with Tom and Rainer. Together they work. They go to the workroom of the scholar Frill, who has just returned from a long trip. Drew, Drew says Frill is the oldest Iskai of. Nakiridani, and has a great deal of wisdom. A e. Foreign visitors, my name is Frill. I serve the Council of uh, as a scholar in history. What horrible events you had to go through. I'm sure it is not easy for strangers to be subjected to our laws. I'm trying to help them in any way I can, Frill. Naturally, Drill. They are in good hands with you. I know you are pressed for time, but just to satisfy my curiosity, I would like you to tell me the story of how you arrived on Nakaradani. Filled with a strange feeling of trust towards the old Iskai, Tom tells Phil about their origin, the trip, and the humans' original intentions on this planet. Very astonishing. It's ironic that you knew nothing about the presence of other humans here until you saw the frightful murder. Now you can... I, now... Uh, excuse me. Can I possibly provide you with any information? It's been nice talking to you. Farewell! Hopefully the Sturk of the City Watch will spot the murderer soon. Perhaps we should also search the city streets. Oh, baby. Alright, he has a little big Ishkai dagger. Twenty for twenty. Twelve. Oof. Twelve. <laughs> He's our bit. He's our. He's our uh, tank. We gotta. Ah, oh, cool. All right. I'm gonna. Oh, Drew. The murderer has been seen in the vicinity of the guild house of the Daji Kaz magicians. A trail. Let's immediately go to the Digit Kaz. Well, here we go. I was gonna save it and continue next time, but okay. They all hurried to the guild house of the magicians of Jinnar, the Jij, because the murderer can't be found on the street, and so they enter the house. Tom and Raider, as well as their new companion, Jur, enter the guild house of the Digicas magicians. They are accompanied by two Sturrock, the local police. First, they meet Sira, the daughter of the murderer, 
Akir, who has defected to the guild of the Jijikas. Have you heard about the death of our father, Sira? Yes, I have never even got the chance to speak to him again. Oh, good goddess, it is. Do you know who is behind the murder? I grieve with you, Sira. Now we still have no clue, however, they say that the mid uh, fugitive murderer has been near this air building. Fasir, the head of the Dajikas magicians, enters. I have heard about Akira's murder. What brings you to us? The murder was seen near your guild. May we take a look around a little? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Come. Robot Squad, baby. Suddenly, an Iskai and a human emerge in the corridor. He is the future of murderer. When the Iskai notices he has been seen, he throws a glowing seed. All need some time before they can see anything after the blinding light. I believe the murderer has disappeared to the south. After him, Sturk, take the accomplice. Damn, he escaped through the window again. Jiro turns to the Iskai who produced the blinding light. Well, who are you and why have you helped the murderer escape? Fasir the chief uh, of the DJ Koss intrudes. His name is Chris. He is was a member of our guild. Chris, you miserable sh gork. Why did you let the murderer come into our building? But Fasir, you yourself gave me the order and now you want me to s you want to sacrifice me that won't get you anywhere you paid the murderer yourself what are you out of your mind juror don't believe a word of it i had nothing to do with this thing i know the reason for your hostility between us Vasir, and akira very well you have a motor motive for murder after all these years, would I choose this time to... Stirk, please, take Chris and Fasir into custody until we have caught the murderer and have found the truth. Jur, I would like to leave. I cannot stay here any longer. I have to be alone and think everything over. Jur turns to Tom and Rainer. We almost had the murderer. In any case, he's no longer in the sit house. Perhaps we still have to catch him somewhere in the city. Good, Jarrell. We'll go. One more thing. What is the story between Vasir and the murderer, uh, Akir? Well, to make a long story short, Akir was once married to his Vasir's sister on a hunting trip with Akir. Vasir's sister lost her life. Vasir blamed Akir for the death. Of his sister, since Akira insisted on the trip in spite of bad weather. That is the reason for the l lasting enmity. Now, let us search the city. Okay, we have control again. Whew! We're gonna go ahead and save it. We have a new party member, that's exciting. Just to make sure that's the, our new loaded game. Alright, that's where we're going to call it for today. If you ended up enjoying this part, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out those links in the description. One will head you over to my Discord server, the second to my Patreon, and the third to my PayPal. Any donations are greatly appreciated. Until next time, everyone, Bye bye